It's like a meal and a refreshing beverage all in one. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator. Welcome back to Dayton Delectables. Oh yes, we've got some more uh, Filipino candies, more in the Mr. category. Uh, in the last episode we had Yemma, Mr. Yemma and Mr. Queso, and then I went to the store and found like a whole bunch of other misters, all these brothers that I didn't fucking know about. So. <laughs> Uh, my experience with Mr. Yemo was pretty good. My experience with Mr. Queso, not so much. Uh, you can check out that video. The link is in the description, and uh, that is always appreciated. Today, we have uh, quite a few different misters. Here's Mr. Melon. Look how fucking jolly that guy is. Mr. Buko, he looks like my grandpa or something, except he's fat. <laughs> but uh, it's Buko Pandan flavored with milk filling. So that's going to be pretty nice. Uh, melon, if you didn't see, is just melon flavored with melon filling. So it's going to be very melony. That's uh, a thing to look forward to. And then finally I have Mr. Maize. Mr. Mize? I think it's Mr. Maize because it says it's sweet corn flavored chewy candy with butter flavored filling. My wife is telling me now that it is maize. Maize. I'm saying it like a, like a Mexican would or like a white person would. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think Mr. Maize is gonna be the last one. Um, but look look how similar these, these two guys look. Look, if you eat melons, you're gonna be big and fat and round, and if you eat maize, you're gonna be uh, tall and skinny. So, I don't know which one looks more like me. I hope it's this... <laughs> I hope it's this guy, not this guy. Um, I mean, no offense, Mr. Melon, but he does look a bit rounder, like a melon. Uh, but I think that he's going to be the most delicious one of all. We'll definitely have to uh, find it out, uncover the mystery for ourselves. Da 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 da. And then once I uh, finish this video, I can just go crazy and eat all the fucking candies I want, which is really a nice thing. Uh, except that I do have Mr. Queso still sitting down there. He's been sitting there for like two months. Is somebody gonna eat me? No, nobody is. I'm sorry. It's uh, just not not something that I'm used to. Melon? I definitely know what to expect though. And uh, I do like some melon candies. So let's see. Get a little cross section going. How's that? Mmm. That's really nice. Ah. Oh. I like Mr. Melon a lot. I was expecting it to be a little more milky, but it does its job pretty good. Hmm. Glucose, salt, skim milk powder, sugar, hydrogenated coconut oil, artificial colors and flavors, emulsifiers, artificial coloring, that's FD&C, yellow number six. If you couldn't identify that that artificial color. <laughs> oh, and then the sugar is something completely different. Sugar, hydrogenated palm kernel oil, skim milk powder, whey powder, emulsifier. And that also has artificial uh, flavors and colors. Deliciousness. Definitely uh, exactly what I expected from a melon candy. It tastes just like melon. I was hoping that the the filling would be a little more uh, syrupy and delicious. I mean, it was delicious, but it wasn't as syrupy as I expected. So that's uh, w minus one, but it's also like plus ten because of the the melon candiness. So I rate that a solid nine out of ten. We didn't even rate the last ones. I just put them in a ranking system, and uh, that was that was how it went, wasn't it? <laughs> I can't remember. It's been a few months. Anyways, Mr. Buko is next. Mr. Buko. He looks like he's going to a golf game or something. Or maybe a little Hawaiian luau. I'm not too sure. I can't ask him because he's a package of candy. <laughs> um, Pandan is an interesting thing. It's like used in a lot of medicines and stuff like that. But funnily enough, uh, the artificial Pandan flavoring is fucking delicious. Uh, so it's usually combined with uh, coconut 
to make the cocoa nuts pop just a little bit more. And uh, again, these all look the fucking same. This looks basically identical to Mr. Melon, so um, I would have expected from the packaging that it would be um, a different color. You can see that there it's a little more lightly colored than this one. But that's not the case when you actually open up the package, so... What the fuck? What the fuck? False advertising! No, it's fine. <laughs> I don't care. Um... We'll get a little cross-section of this. Uh-huh. Mmm. -hmm. Oh god, that's so good. Mmm. It's like heaven. It's like this nutty flavor. Mmm. I think that mostly comes from the pandan. Coconut is a nut, obviously. It's a cocoa nut. But, um, yeah. Coconut doesn't have that strong of a flavor. Combining it with the pandan is definitely a really nice idea. And then the milk flavored filling, again, not as syrupy as I would like. It's, uh, you know, more of a powdery chocolate sort of. Yeah, there you go. There's the powder consistency. Focus, focus, focus. It's not gonna focus, is it? Well, you can trust me. It's kinda crumbly. But uh, not bad overall. And I just flattened it so it's like a double serving of Buko Pandan. Mmm. I would rank that one even above the melon. It's an exotic taste. Definitely something that you won't get stateside, um, at least not my experience. And I'm from California where everybody's like, let's try this new and exotic thing. Let's open up a sushi house. Well, sushi houses have been done, bro, since the 1980s. We've seen that shit. Next up is Buko Pandan houses. Um, and they get those little, little boba shakes or whatever. I fucking love those. They got little black pearls. Mmm, so chewy and delicious. It's like a meal and a refreshing beverage all in one. Amazing. Mr. Buko, he could be a meal on his own. With uh, great age comes fantastic experience, and I would say that Mr. Buko is a fantastic experience. I really, really like that a lot. Um, definitely rank him above the melon. The melon fella. That's okay. He's fat. He's got a, a lot of life to live. Mr. Buko, he definitely deserves the uh, the props, you know, because he's gonna be in the grave soon, <laughs> especially if I eat him constantly. So here's Mr. Mai's corn flavored candy with the butter flavored filling. Mmm, and the package does smell really corny. It's like uh, I just opened up some some corn nuts, what, molasses flavored corn nuts or something like that, and. Uh, Basically, I know what to expect. These candies all seem to look the same. Maybe this one will have a bit more of a yellowish tint. And it kind of does. It looks more like the Mr. Queso than the uh, other two did. So, that's, uh, kind of nice, I guess? <laughs> I'm a little hesitant about corn-flavored candy, but, um, you know, you never know until you try. The butter-flavored filling could bring it right back around. We'll have to see. Mmm. Whoa. Yeah, that's different. It's definitely uh, not as strange as the Mr. Queso, but um, yeah. Corn candy is uh, an unexpected taste to me and my American palate. The butter does make it uh, a little bit better. I'm glad it's not just uh, a chewy sweet corn. But, um, yeah, much as I expected, I'm, I'm just a little, a little surprised, a little off-put by this one. Fascinating. I don't know. Maybe if I eat one more, the, the flavor could come back around and, and make me enjoy it. I mean... If I was going to choose to eat two of these, I would have definitely chosen Mr. Buko. But uh, I'm really trying to, to be a friend to Mr. Ma Mais, 
Mr. Mice. Um, and, you know, give him a fighting chance because, uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely sweet and, uh, it could be a good candy, but, uh, yeah, just the corn flavor is something that I'm used to being more savory, you know? Put some barbecue corn. Oh my god, that shit's so good. Hold on. I need some help. I need some help! In more ways than one. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's try this again. Not going to do a cross section this time, I'll just eat the whole thing and uh, hopefully it's going to turn out wonderfully. Hmm. Huh. Well, the second one was definitely uh, slightly better, but as somebody who's been eating corn nuts for their entire life, um, yeah, I just don't know if I'm ready for it to be in a chewy candy form. So it is better than Mr. Queso, I will give it that, but uh, as far as the ranking of these five, I would have to say Mr. Queso at the absolute bottom, Mr. Mice is uh, over that, and those are the below average ones, you know. Average, I would say, uh, Mr. Yemma, Mr. Melon, and then the king of them all, Mr. Buko. My goodness. You, you should always buy uh, packages with, like, an old person on them, because, like I said, with age comes experience, and with experience comes a delicious knowledge of how to make a, a fantastic candy. So, I'm probably going to eat this whole package of uh, Mr. Buko's really, really soon, and, uh... When you next see me playing a video game or something, I'll, I'll be a little bit fatter, and you'll know why. <laughs> ah, more Bugo! Bugo Pangan magic! Mmm! <sighs> yeah. That's really nice. If you ever make it out to the Philippines, I would say give these things a try. They are only distributed, it seems, in the Philippines by SPI, SPI Corp. Maybe you can get them online at spicorp.com.ph but um, I haven't gone there yet so don't quote me. I can just go to the market get them whenever I want and uh, I'll probably get some more Mr. Buko. He is the king. Damn. <laughs> Anyways friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode of Dayton Delectables. I hope you're able to ignore the dogs uh, barking outside, although they did just start. Probably, you know, squirrel or something. Squirrel! Anyways. <laughs> uh, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciated. Helps the channel to get out there. If you'd like to see some more uh, strange Filipino candies, do let me know. Uh, I'm gonna talk to Squeaky Smurf about sending me some candy from the UK, so hopefully we can have uh, a little world tour. A food world tour on this channel. I think that would be really, really nice. Um, and yeah, something interesting to watch at the very least. So, any constructive criticism, always appreciated. Uh, if you just want to tell me I'm awesome, that's always appreciated as well. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you once again so, so much for watching. And I will see you then, friends. Until then, bye! One, two, three, four... Goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.